Captain's Log, Stardate. The Lee is completing final preparations before leaving Fleet Station and entering the Praxis Corridor. Captain on the bridge. We're a little more informal here, Commander. I've noticed, sir. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll pick it up with a little practice. So, we have a new helmsman. Pilot, sir. Really? She insisted. Lieutenant McCaffrey. Yes, that's me, sir. Pilots referred to those that drove large barges and tugs across large bodies of water on Old Earth. What are you implying about my ship, Lieutenant? <laughs> Nothing, sir. But I would like to point out that uh, we ain't sailing. We're flying. Noted. Take her out, Miss McGaffrey. With pleasure. Moorings cleared. Exiting space dock at one quarter sub light speed. Uh, Captain, station keeping is no greater than one eighth. Of I'm a well aware of speed restrictions. Carry on, Lieutenant. Nicely done. Anne, if you would. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Attention, Praxis Flotilla. It's flotilla. What? It's pronounced Flotilla. Who cares? Attention, Praxis Flotilla. This is the USS Lee, your Star Command Escort. Our first hyperspace lane has now been charted and should now be in your nav computers. We will be entering hyperspace on my mark. Lock coordinates and ready hyperdrive. Coordinates locked. Hyperdrive ready on your go. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. Really? We just had an overhaul. That'll show him. Touch my engine. Chuck. Ah, Commander Pierce. Good to speak with you again. Thank you, Admiral. It's an honor to be chosen for this mission. Not at all, Jack. You've been one of my best investments since the Academy. I take it your insertion went well? Uh, not a hitch. They think we're a medium freighter out of Andromeda. <laughs> Excellent. I have a job for you once you drop out of hyperspace. In addition to the original plan? Yes. I have a few pieces I need to move into place first. Elta Charons are not being as cooperative as I had hoped. What can I do, sir? I need you to slow this convoy down. So, like what you see? It's a piece of crap. Yeah, these babies are really, what? Look. No offense, but uh, I've flown real ships. These barely rate as cargo tugs. Oh, really? And where exactly have you flown real ships? Places. What kind of places? You know, places where they have ships and things. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I've seen your duty record. You skipped the academy due to an overabundance of accumulated life skills. I was definitely never a uh, smuggler or a pirate or anything like that. Oh, pirate, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. We had a uh, letter of mark from the Duke of some principality. Uh, he wanted us to take out his cousin's ships. Mm. Mm. Ever done a Zagreb slingshot? What, you mean uh, use an impulse wedge to alter a celestial body's course like an asteroid in order to disable a larger ship's power supply and shields? Of course not. Good. You pull anything that reckless with my ship, lady, and I will cut you. 
Ooh. Oh, hmm. this coming from the guy who likes to regularly use the reactor heat sinks as a sauna. Uh, tanning bed? Besides, it's different. It's being reckless with my own safety. And I have a theory I'm developing mutant powers. Anyway, that's beside the point. You, Missy, and you, Anne. Be careful, I don't want to see a single scratch on these things. Or what, exactly? Or I'll be very upset. Don't make me upset, Anne. You wouldn't like me when I'm upset. What's he bitching about now? Chuck is afraid we're gonna damage one of his shuttles. When have we ever caused undue damage to your ship? The Micronobian incident? You have only yourself to blame for that one. How do you figure that? Well, it was your digestive tract that damaged the picket so severely. Ew. Just be careful. Light a match! Well, are we ready to get underway? Almost. I get why Amelia Airhead over there is uh, going on this mission, but why exactly am I going? I need you to help me to calibrate the sensors once we get the Sigma Praxis through. If they're not in the correct alignment, the entire terraforming mission will be renowned. Orok here. The flotilla is about to drop out of hyperspace and refuel. Your party is cleared to head out as soon as we do. Great, sir. We were just finishing loading up supplies. With any luck, we'll only be a day or two behind you. Be careful. Who knows what's out there? Thanks, sir. We will do our best. Yeah, I'm just overflowing with confidence. Hit the emergency beacon if anything goes wrong. Understood, sir. Four rock out. Fuel transfer control station is on this level, that way. Keep quiet, and let's make this fast. Roger that, Freighter Toyber. You are next to refuel once Freighter Rio Grande is cleared. They're all demanding to go next, Captain. I'm having trouble keeping them in line. We're trying to do this in the most efficient fashion. Those with the smallest tanks first, and then so on. I don't want to spend half a day refueling freighters. Freighter Toyber, you are cleared. This is not the Toyber. We have taken your fuel ship. Who is this? This is the leader of the Sons of the Republic. We have taken this ship to counteract your illegal and imperialistic Sir? Uh, settlements that the Commonwealth has foisted Sir? on the practice corridor. Sir? Dick! Is there something you wanted, Yeoman? For a second time, we are the Sons of the Republic. We have taken this ship and will destroy any ship that attempts to refuel as a demonstration of our will. I'm getting a neutron energy pulse from the fuel ship. Signal the Swiper to get out of there. your attention. Open a channel. This is Captain Richard Shepard of the USS Lee. Who is this? My name is not important, Captain. What is important is that you immediately change course to the Beta Praxis system. If you do not, we will destroy this vessel and any vessel that attempts to dock with it. Do not attempt to use transporters. If, you, if we receive a transport signal, we will immediately destroy this vessel. You have one hour to make preparations. He cut the channel. Suggestions. We could beam the crew aboard, destroy the ship ourselves, limit the casualties to the terrorists themselves. Can't do it. Why not? These ships don't have Qualtradian processors. That big freighter was processing fuel for the entire fleet. Without it, we're stranded. Well, can't we process it for them? 
The Lee's a warship. It's not designed to play nursemaid to a bunch of freighters. We could process enough qualtritium to keep ourselves going for a good long while, but not enough to share. Well, what other options do we have? I have an idea. I really don't want to have this idea, but I think I can get our people on board without the sons of whatever noticing. Does it involve face paint, disguises, or strange hats? No. Well, then it's better than anything Commander Borok has devised. All right. Stall them as long as you can. Cypher, you're with me. Grack, get a boarding party ready. Me, me sir? Why me? You're a good luck charm. Kind of like a canary in a coal mine. That's like having you along. Mm. Tina, see if you can get that son of a bitch back online. I've got a feeling Commander Montgomery's gonna need an awful lot of distraction. Sir, the Lee is signaling again. Tell them I want a sign of good faith before I will talk with them again. I want them to power down their masers. I will talk to them as soon as their power systems read zero power. Aye, sir. Our leader says he does not want to talk to you. You may talk to our leader when you have completely powered down your weapon systems. Oh. No, we are reading it that they are on standby. Power them down completely and you may talk to our leader. Then you had better start now. Man, I hate zero G. It makes everything go all wonky. Yeah, I have this night terror where I float off into space alone. <laughs> Don't worry about that. What are the odds of it happening twice? Yeah. What? Ugh. Get that cover off. The IPS conduits are right behind it. If we can cut those, that should knock out everything but auxiliary power. And if we can't? Well, then we hang out here until someone comes up with something. The Lee's maser banks read neutral. No power. Good. How are we with our little project? Right on schedule. In a few more minutes, we should be ready. When we get the signal for Commander Montgomery, we'll be taking the ship. Stay together. Mind the corners. Okay. These are the main IPS conduits. Now, they're very dangerous. So when you take them out... Hey! Where are you going? Son of a bitch. All right, we've given Chuck a good enough head start. Try and raise them again. USS Lee to refiner ship Plainview, come in. No response, sir. And what about Chuck? I'm just getting a lot of cursing. No. Stupid friggin' ciphers. Next copy we make, I'm gonna punch him in the face on general principle. What happened? The main IPS relay is down. We're on emergency power. How does that affect our plan? Doesn't. But we're about to have some company. Ha <laughs> ha! Hoot man! Ha <laughs> ha! Chuck man! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Chuck to Lee, you're all clear. Go get those bastards. Fire team Alpha, go aft. Bravo. Fire team Alpha, have you found anything yet? No, sir, just a bunch of dead crew members. The ship's empty. The cowards must have fled when the power went out. Okay, I'm restoring power. Now. Is that all to Karen? Yes. It's a countdown. It's a countdown. Emergency transport now! No. Damage report. Minor damage on decks F through H. I'm getting a lot of distress calls from the fleet. Bridge to transporter room. Did you get them? We made it, Captain, but it was a close thing. What about Chuck? He is not here. 
He's not in any of the other transporter rooms. Tina, see if you can raise. I'm not getting a comm signal from his suit. Deploy damage control teams. Render assistance where we can. Go over the sensor logs. I want to see if an Altacare and Warboard snuck in. And if it did, where it went. If it was a cloaked ship, it could be anywhere. Just do it. Chuck to Lee. Come in, Lee. Lee, this is Chuck. Is anybody there? Lee? I'm kind of stranded out here.